one of the great spiritual sicknesses of our time is the desire and longing for ease, comfort. And it stems from a wrong understanding of suffering. We are bombarded with images and ideas of what the good life is. And all these are based in heresy. What follows are a series of teachings from Orthodox elders and fathers and saints about the true nature of suffering and its role in the life of Christians. Since Theophan the Recluse says, we must be merciless with ourselves. We must struggle, repent, so that any self-pity is replaced within us with a desire, a longing, a thirst to overcome the will and the desires of the flesh. Father Seraphim Rose reminds us that as Christians we should expect nothing except to be crucified in this time and in every age. The example set before us is Christ who was crucified. His crucifixion is both an example and a warning to us. We must accept, embrace crucifixion, for only through crucifixion is the hope of resurrection. St. Isaac the Syrian says to us, the road to heaven is the cross. He says no one has ascended to heaven except through suffering. The life of ease, he says, leads somewhere else. Elder Ambrose of Optina says, You are Christian if you believe in the future life, a life of blessed reward, not just for labours, but for struggles and sufferings, both voluntary and involuntary, that are endured with patience. Elder Barsanufius reminds us to reflect on the fragility of human happiness in this world, earthly happiness. He says, blessed is the man who doesn't chase after it or seek it, but puts his trust entirely in Christ our Saviour. Elder Barsanufius again says, if we lead a life of sin, no one will touch us. But when we try to live well, live good, we will attract afflictions, attacks, suffering. Let us remember, no one suffered more than God's saints, and they did so for God's glory. St. Isaac says, You who are victorious in tasting Christ's suffering in your flesh will also taste his resurrection. Thank you.